Having traveled over 1,000 nautical miles in pursuit of the world's largest tuna fishing vessel and chased it for five days, the crew of the Greenpeace ship Esperanza finally caught the Alberton Tress. We were hoping to find this massive tuna destroyer in the act of fishing and ideally would have liked to stop the net from closing, but unfortunately they were already hauling it in when we arrived at first light. We knew the Alberton Tress at 115 meters long was huge, but to see her up close was something else. This ship can take 3,000 tons of tuna in a single trip, which is nearly double the catch of some Pacific Island countries in a whole year. Tuna stocks in this fragile region are declining and there simply isn't enough fish in the sea to keep filling the holds of these large vessels. The Spanish company that owns this ship is trying to expand its fleet despite scientists warning that fishing needs to be reduced. Foreign fishing companies have no shame and target the poorest and most vulnerable countries in order to gain access to fish in their waters. Our activists laid a banner across the net to highlight how this destructive activity is wiping away the main source of food and income for Pacific Island countries. United, and with support from around the world, the people of the Pacific can stop foreign fishing fleets from wiping away their future. Vessels of this size cannot be left to plunder and empty out the remaining tuna stocks and need to be taken off the water and scrapped immediately in order to address the overcapacity of the world's tuna fleets.